On August 3rd, the Russian military airfield Morozovsk in Rostov region was hit right on ammunition storage tanks, where, among other things, guided aerial bombs were stored. Local residents reported about explosions in social networks, assuming that it was detonated ammunition. Later, the results of the Ukrainian Defense Forces operation were reported by the Defense Ministry's main intelligence directorate. A Su-34 fighter bomber was destroyed. Two more Russian aircraft of the same type were probably damaged by debris. Craters from explosions were recorded near the sites. The enemy's aircraft armory has been completely destroyed. Large areas of scorched earth are visible in and around the airfield from the secondary detonation of Russian ammunition. From the report of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine on Telegram. In late July, Russian military airfields Saki in Crimea, temporarily occupied by Russia, Diaghileva in Ryazan region, and Alenia were successfully attacked. The last one is located 1,800 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. This is the distance traveled by Ukrainian attack drones. Recently, drones have reached certain airfields in the Russian Federation, particularly the northern ones in Olenia. Long-range bombers have been hit there, and this has forced a delay in the next massive strikes on Ukraine for at least a few days. Kirill Budanov, head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry on the Ukrainian National Telethon. To prevent massive missile strikes by Russian army on peaceful Ukrainian cities and civilian infrastructure, Kyiv has repeatedly asked its partners to allow them to use their long-range weapons to strike Russian territory. It is necessary to hit the places where the enemy is attacking from, Volodymyr Zelensky believes. Every strike that responds precisely to Russia's aerial bombardment, that destroys Russian logistics, Russian military bases, that makes it more difficult for the occupier to stay on our land. Every such strike brings a just end to the war closer. Fair for us, for the world, for Ukraine, for everyone who values life. The Ukrainian president insists that long-range weapons should be used not only against military targets near the border, but also for strikes on facilities deep inside the Russian Federation. The United States has not yet given such an approval. We do allow those cross-border strikes when Russia is attacking uh, from the other side of the border. And as the war has changed, um, we have changed, our policies have adapted. Um, and you've seen that play out in Kharkiv, and it could expand into other areas. But right now, um, we have not authorized the use of attackums for deep, stri deep strike capabilities within Russia. The cancellation of restrictions on Western weapons strikes deep into the territory of the aggressor country can significantly change the balance of forces on the battlefield and affect Russia's ability to wage war against Ukraine. Experts have said Moscow is already experiencing serious difficulties with the defense of its strategic facilities and the use of storm shadow and attackums will make them even more vulnerable. Such tactics, according to analysts, can contribute to the faster conclusion of the war. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stanhelov, UATV News.